In this video, we are going to illustrate how to set up an ISOBUS compatible planter to the Ag Leader display. The display we are using is the InCommand 1200. First, we'll go ahead and go Setup and hit the Display button at the bottom right and in ISOBUS settings and make sure that Enable Task Controller is checked and also have the Section Rate compatibility checked as well if you're going to do like prescriptions and stuff because that determines how how often the target rate message is sent to the ISO ECU. As far as setting up your planter still, you're going to be doing that in the universal terminal or virtual terminal portion of the uh, display so that you can go to soybeans, corn, meter calibrations, and so forth. Let's get started by going to setup and implement planting and we'll choose planter the make is going to be a John Deere for our example. And our model is a 1770 NT. Now we're lucky enough to uh, have our ISOBUS compatible planter pop populate us in this uh, fashion so that we can see that our width is correct and our sections is correct as well, 14 sections. And there's other ways of doing this if it does not show up and we'll discuss this a little further down. But we'll choose next here. And our offset's gonna be 15 feet, we'll guesstimate. And we don't have liquid or granular application, so we'll just choose next as well. Now the other method would be able to go into planting, choose planter. It'll be John Deere again for our, for our example. And 1770. But instead of not populating, we'll have to hit the plus symbol by our controller and choose ISOBUS and our make's going to be a John Deere and generic. Now we have to turn on our uh, rate control if it is supported. I like to change this uh, you know, because it's just generic. Uh, I like to put something in there that identifies what kind of controller it actually is. For this we'll just put 1770 ISO ECU and then choose next. And we have no downforce. Um, we'll set up our 16 rows and our sections is going to be 14 and we'll have to change our configuration for uh, row or section one is going to be two rows and section uh, our last one is going to be sections for uh, 15 and 16 rows no liquid or granular application go through there and now you can see it's listed there under the controller Back to our ISO that auto populate, we'll see it there. It lists it as a planter and lists it as ISO bush in the controller. And you can change this as well. But we'll back out of here and enter in our configuration setup to have a new con planting configuration. We'll choose our tractor and then choose our implement. Okay, and then you can go in here and change the auto swath control, the look ahead settings to adjust your uh, turning off the seed and turning on the seed for clutches and or changing it if it shuts off at boundary locations. Also change our offsets if they're not correct. And I guess here's an area if you have prescriptions you can change if it uh, defaults to zero rate outside the boundary or not. But we'll back out of here and go into planting as if we're going to go uh, plant. And you can see it's listed as generic ISO to our test field. We'll select some products out of our drop down list here. And it's in seeds. So we'll move to the check X out of there. And this is what our max strain would look like uh, if we're going to go planting. Um, using an ISOBUS ready planter. We'll choose our rates in here that way we can have, take advantage of the task controller functionality 
uh, like section control, data logging, and or variable rate control if the ISOBUS ECU supports it. Sometimes data logging is only a supporting feature and sometimes it does communicate back and forth with the display. Nice thing about the 1200 display, if we want to see uh, like a bar graph uh, kind of indication on what our planter is, is doing, we can split the screens on this 1200 display so we can see our universal terminal at the same time as we're uh, mapping our field or our guidance or whatever you want to call it. It's You can see a lot of detail on this display because of the features that it does have. And it's not taking a bit any extra real estate on that display or or combining with other 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 features there. And we can change our rates there on the side, the right side there. And we can just go through the settings there uh, on the universal terminal there on the on the planters ECU. If we need to do any configuration or change its internal acre counters or whatnot. And this is where you would add a prescription if need to be for that. And I want to thank you for watching and I hope this helps others uh, get their ISOBUS planter connected and ready to go.